go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. No, my daughters, for it is exceedingly bitter to me for your sake that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. Do not urge me to leave you or return from following you. Where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me and more, but death parts me from you. sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will give you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. And the dead bodies of the hosts of the Philistines this day go, will go to the birds of the heavens and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that, that is, there is a God in Israel. In all this assembly, we know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hand. Divorce her quietly. 
Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Ghost. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, now in all generations will call me blessed. It is he who is mighty has done great things for me, and mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones. He has exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his offspring forever. 